we got a little kind of, I guess, end of the week update, kind of preview before the Minnesota Vikings, but we do have a lot to talk about. So let's just get right into it. First thing, breaking news this morning, the Lions have added Mohamed Sanu to the practice squad. I believe we worked him out sometime last week. I remember getting the update um, either earlier this week or late. I think it was earlier this way. I think it was like Monday or Tuesday we worked him out right after Galladay got hurt. So it just took all week, but we finally signed him as all I could find is it's to the practice squad, and I couldn't find a corresponding move as to who we cut to uh, make this happen as of right now, but I'm sure it'll be out very soon. I mean, I, I don't really know what to say about it. Obviously, we need wide receiver help, and he was cut from San Francisco for a reason, and he hasn't been signed to a team for a reason. So, I mean, I guess it's good depth. He's a good tall wide receiver who can go out and catch, kind of fill in Galladay's position. What do you think about it, Dalton? I mean, it's just to the practice squad right now, so it's not like it's not like he's on our active roster or anything, which obviously maybe if Galladay and Jamal Agnew like aren't good to go this week, maybe he does get promoted to the roster just for that extra wide receiver just to I don't know if he'll play because obviously it's already Friday and the game's in two days, so he probably won't get too much playing time even if he gets any. If he did, it'd probably be just red zone targets, just trying to just get open in the end zone, find a way and something like that, because he doesn't have time, like you said, in two days to learn the playbook and go through all that. He might be on the active roster for the game just to add that wide receiver depth in case Marvin Jones or somebody happens to go down. Mm -hmm. He might be there just to add that depth, but don't expect him to play. A lot. Don't expect him. Honestly, I'm probably would be surprised to even see him on the field, but I w- probably do expect him to be in uniform on the active roster. Yeah, like you said, I expect him to be active because who all we have, especially if Agnew is out, we only have Marvin Jones, Marvin Hall, Quentin Cephas, and Danny Amendola. It's like you said, it's probably smart to just have him active for the game, even if it is just for a few just straight streak routes, anything. He's a wide receiver. He knows what he's doing. He just won't be able to do any of the in-depth route running that we would know or the pass blocking or any of those weird special plays that we like to do. But either way, again, just more wide receiver depth. It's good with uh, injuries to Agnew and Galladay because we don't know how long they're out. Honestly, I'm assuming Galladay isn't going to be that bad because they would have put him on IR, especially with the shorter IR this year, how it's only, I think, three to four weeks. So if he was going to be any extended time, I'm assuming they would have put him on IR. So I'm hoping it's just maybe a week, two-week thing, and he'll be back to normal. 